six, three, two, ta-da. Well, fine. Okay, who wants to go in a maintenance tunnel? Whoa. Oh, that was the flickery dude. Hey, dude, how you doing? That's not helpful. Oh, you. Mr. Walk Through Walls, I'm gonna drag you to the Shadow Dimension! <laughs> chasing me, and he's gonna chase me through doors and walls, and forever and ever, till death do me part, and it will. You've gotta make a lot of progress to get away from him. Actually, woo, now I can run. See you later. Oh! Pocket dimension now. Yeah, I'm in the freaking pocket dimension. Well, aren't you just the most special snowflake in the universe, huh? I need a piece of paper in here, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! You suck. So yeah, I think that is a mandatory encounter. Because you saw, I, I had to be really far ahead of him, but he just swooshed across me when I got to that door. And I do believe when you get to his containment area, there's a way you can trap him. And then it's no big deal. And if you uh, escape from his little pocket dimension, then... Uh, you wind up at his containment area. That's how it works. Seventy-eight. One hundred. Yay! Press a key. I press the key. Llama noises. I'm a llama monster. Rise out of the ground and catch you. I'm gonna eat you up, nom. Maybe. I don't know. I don't approve of these maintenance tunnels. Seems locked. Well, great. And there's Mr. Rise Out of the Ground. La 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 la. Yep, he's chasing me. Through walls, through doors, through everything in the universe until he catches me, and then puts me in his pocket. Just catch me. Come on. Yep, you're a guy.
leaning to the right, I'm leaning to the right. And then it's basically just guesswork. Now I'm standing up. Whoa! It's freaking hilarious, but you are on your own there. Uh, yay? Great. Now what? Exit stage right. Right? Where am I now? You're just a special little snowflake, aren't you, buddy? I know these doors are getting shorter and shorter. I'm gonna have to crawl through them eventually, and if they close all the way, I'm dead. Yay! Just in the last tower. Yay. Could you just let me out, please, buddy? I know this is supposed to be a labyrinthine horror where you're slowly catching people you drag here and then murdering them. Yay, saved. I am an escapee. And also, Dr. George Menard, your know personal access code 6826. Huzzah! Oh, I need a key card? Like this key card? Yep, that guy. Omega Warhead Silo sounds fun. We might go there. Set off an Omega Warhead. Task Force Unit 9 Tailed Fox has entered the facility. All remaining survivors are advised to stay in an evacuation shelter or any other safe area until the unit has secured the facility. We'll start escorting personnel out when the escaped SCPs have been recontained. Good luck containing the lizard guy. Okay, sound transmission off. Electromagnetic Reboot. Okay. There's a... Supposed to be a button that does something unpleasant. But must be done. I don't really want to open that door. Control the nine tailed fox. Is it being disabled? Something disabled? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Sucks for you. I'm looking for a very specific button. And it's not sound transmission. That's where he lives. He's inside that little box. There's the things used to keep him in his little box. Something disabled? I don't know. Disable statue and I'll be happy. looking for isn't actually there right now. Uh, there's supposed to be one that damages him, the dude in there, or like breaks his legs or something, and that attracts the old guy who goes after the person who is weakest. And... I mean, you turn this off. Then you break his legs, and the old guy shows up in there to eat him. Then you turn it back on and he's trapped. Listen to him scream! Doesn't that bit wet your appetite? Dude, cheat. Quiet yourself. Chasing me. The music is kind of you are in chase mode. Also, I saw the face in the monitor right a few seconds ago. Lost mouse focus. Is this going to keep up like the chase mode? He's supposed to be trapped in there now. When the monitor goes blank, he's stuck. Or he's, you know, feasting. And then you can trap him. I think you're lying. You couldn't disable your way out of a paper bag. So let's keep this on. I, I kind of don't want to because it's hard to see, but my stamina regenerates so much quicker. Mega Warhead. Ooh. 
Alpha Warheads. Four one kiloton hydrogen bombs designed to demolish the areas above the facility without causing major damage to the underground parts. Designed to protect the event of Alpha de Warhead detonation. Five megaton hydrogen bomb designed to demolish everything within a five mile radius, including the facility. Den detonation requires O5 level clearance. Put on a vest, feel slightly encumbered. But I'm not encumbered if I'm not wearing the vest. Remote detonation of Alpha Warheads and Omega Warhead? I don't know. I'm not sure that would be the best course of action. Maybe if something large and indestructible and very destructive and angry was out and trying to kill everyone. Okay. I don't know which... there is no frame of reference, so... Disable Mr. Potato Head first, Nine-Tailed Fox. The Kitsune Warriors. Let's go talk to a malevolent evil computer. a jerk. And I guess that's his prerogative. Okay, I guess he's being a jerk up there and not down there, as I thought. Also, why am I carrying this? I have a better key card. He crawled through the air ducts. Don't make me detonate an atomic warhead on your forehead, guy. Because I'll do it. I have the power! I think. I mean, I saw the buttons labeled, Please detonate this bomb. And I resisted. Because I am a honorable D-class prisoner. I'd like to uh, talk to the computer, but apparently it's shutting the door in my face, and Mr. Potato Head can crawl through the vents. I think I'll play for another 20 minutes or so.
actually, I guess I can't get to him, but there he is. Eh. Door. Not interactable. Uh, it's probably locked. I guess that's the observation room. Shutting the door in my face. Fine, fine. Computer don't want to talk, I guess I don't want to talk with it. Although it's slightly alarming that the computer has control over the doors. What happens when uh, he seems to go through the walls is that he's just moving too fast, and he kind of just glitches through the level. to kill me next. Security clearance. Since my previous attempts to term uh, to petition the termination of SCP-173 have met with O5 being steadfast, I am hereby in sense suggesting we extend security measures. I think it would be prudent to redesign one of the empty containment cells to include a set of three doors, a double airlock. And since we revise the cleaning procedure to be only carried out with trained personnel, D-Class just can't be trusted with this. That would have been a good idea, buddy. You're probably dead now, though. How does he know where I'm looking? It's just magic SCP powers, I guess. Oh, he's inside one of those rooms. Yeah, I saw that face. You're nothing special. Yeah, see, you see how fast he moves? That's what I mean about him being able to glitch through the level, because he's literally just moving so fast it's like he's teleporting. It wouldn't hurt to slow him down a little bit. I mean, it's okay if he's faster than you could possibly dodge, but could you just make it so he's not able to turbo through the entire universe forever? Hey, 
stuff. I found radio. This thing doesn't need batteries, I see. That's one of its advantages. Oh, yeah, this this is the same room. Random seed! You re duplicated a room, but at least you gave me a radio. That just devours its own batteries. But that's okay. Mobile task forces. Mailmen, surveillance, containment, routine, okay, front runners, the Maz Hatters, see no evil, tiger bait. I guess these are for longer periods when you don't want to blink. Eight two six. What the? Doctor George Menard. Six eight. Oh, maybe it's six eight two eight. So I guess he's the reason. Disconnected air. It's out. Proceeding. Interesting. Very interesting. Good luck getting into Dr. Gears' office. Dr. Harp. wall. Hi. Uh. A little too close. Oh, I can't. I was gonna drink my mysterious liquid. The bottle of magic. Or whatever the heck. I, it has a biohazard symbol on it. I don't think I really want to drink it. <laughs> Probably would have been better off uh, setting it to fine instead of very fine. Very When you set things to very fine, that's when you start getting bad stuff. I mean, stuff's so good, it's unnatural. <laughs> 